So it's Jason and Austin once again. Grand Finals, Austin. The sweater's coming off. Mm, it's pretty warm in here. It is very hot in here. I mean, it's getting back. It's getting a little it better. It is winter time. <laughs> it is January the 11th. No, it winter is over. 74 oh degrees out today. We had our three days of winter. We had we had We're our done. one it's, day it's where now. we had a snow flurry. <laughs> right, and yeah. And then Texas is like, that's it. It's and over. Then, yeah, not, not even a week later. 74 degrees. Yeah. Hey. So here we go. It's going to be Charizard Ness. Once again. Starting on Smashville this time. We'll see if Austin can carry all of that momentum into this game. Or if Jason has uh, cooled his heels too much to do it. But right now, showing that he's uh, he's on it. Oh, on man. It, on the it, on it, on it. Spacing of that back air reaching so far out. And he got the sweet spot, too. Could he get another back air? He could if he knew that Austin was going to air dodge there. He did have time, theoretically, to mm -hmm. turn around back air. Even forward tilt does like 12%. What's up with that, man? <laughs> Oh, oh my goodness! Armor on that up B, chewing through the forward air. Jason? A <laughs> question mark? Really? <laughs> Excuse me? So now it's Austin to lose a quick stock to an up B. <laughs> now Jason's just gonna get oh. right in there with that up smash. I have to be completely honest with you. I totally forgot that Charizard has rock smash in this game. Uh, okay, he's okay. Jason's really lucky he got hit by the head of that. But yeah, yeah. rock smash is uh Potentially very dangerous just because Ness can punish it pretty hard, but yeah, he can just break through the ice like that or break mm. through the fire. <laughs> fire, <laughs> as it were. Flamethrower is pretty dangerous. I think Ness can absorb that, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> A neutral error. Did auto cancel, but no follow up. Gotta use, yeah, gotta use oh, Flare man. Blitz. Oh, oh man. Oh my goodness, the power of rage. Jeez. Jason, game one. What a wild game. That was a really, really fast game, too. Wild boys, wild boys. Yeah, real wild. Jason did not close his eyes for a second. <laughs> so game two, is it going to go to Battlefield? It mm. is. And I'm thinking Austin's going to have to find some sort of change in strategy if, yeah. he, if he loses this game and, and bring it back some other time. Yeah, it seems like his usual strategy. You mean, it, he took the first game of Winner's Finals. But it wasn't here. No. It was on, uh, was it a Town of City, I think? Um, Smashville or Town of City, one of the two. Yeah. So Jason, even backing himself into a corner, can get those punishes on Austin. Oh, uh, yeah, up and up be right through. out. Yep. Uh, I think that is super armor on that as well. Yes. Four dare strings. Oh, the reverse. Well, Austin! <laughs> oh, that would have really killed most coverage. characters, <laughs> but... Thankfully, uh, Charizard weighs about a ton and a half, so. Yeah, yeah. No, definitely uh, a chunky, chunky piece of meat. Mm -hmm. Now Austin's all up in Jason's grill. Yep, putting damage on. But, I mean, that's one of the nice things about Charizard is that he's so big, he's such a heavy body, that now he's going to have rage on top of his normal incredible KO <laughs> yeah. power. And I like, I like what Austin's been doing is that he all of a sudden isn't getting in Jason's grill, and yeah. instead he's just hopping back and forth and throwing a couple of projectiles that won't hit. But it's annoying Jason, and that's what he wants. Right, yeah, and keeping <laughs> control of center stage. That roll was a little scary. Ooh. Didn't connect the uh, the finishing hit of the uh, up B. Yeah, and Austin, first stock. Good positioning now. Oh, the read on okay. the roll, though. I'm I <laughs> legitimately almost did a spit take. <laughs> yeah, you picked the wrong time to take a drink of your water. <laughs> I, was, I was very close. I actually went, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Strings from Austin now. And Jason unable to drop to the platform to get a hit, but the back air there. Man. Such an ever present threat. An ever present threat once he's down to that last stock. I mean, Charizard has a meaty down air, and if Austin overextends himself, which he often doesn't, which is weird to say about somebody like Austin. Right, yeah, like he, <laughs> he very calculatedly overextends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh,. You know, if Austin overextends, finds himself off stage like this, Charizard can get some very early kills. Mm -hmm. Right now, though, it's all Austin. Only 10% on him, 144 on Jason at the ledge, and the down two smash. frame with the down smash. And Austin makes Battlefield work. Yeah, he did. And again, Set's going to go into game three, but this time Jason with the counter pick advantage. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering. It's yeah, not, where? It's not, it's not probably going to be Dream. He might run it back. 
Maybe. I would think he would want the lower ceiling just so he can get like random up B or random up smash kills a little bit easier. Then again, Austin will kill him a lot earlier with the up air as well. Um, yeah, I don't feel like he's been getting too many kills with up air though. Some here and there, but okay. uh, since Charizard is such a heavy body. Um, Three, two, okay, gonna go to this stage, so. Duck, duck Hunt, duck hunt I'll agree with. Very, very FD like, but. Okay, so something's just occurred to me. Um, if Jason takes control of the left side of the stage at a mm. decent percent, that yeah. tree could be dangerous. It could. I don't know if it acts the same as Kirby, if it will go up all the way to the very top of the tree, but... It does. Okay, well then, yeah, that's going to be very dangerous. Yeah. Uh, this is not Dakpo Jason is dealing with, who will uh, definitely say, oh, no, you don't, and then camp the tree for five and a half minutes. Mm -hmm. Austin, ever going for the PK flash, and normally you would say... Why would you go for the PK flash? It won't work. And Austin knows that, mm -hmm. but he has to put that threat in Jason's right, right. mind to make him, to give him one more option to think about. Yeah, and it's got such low end lag that oftentimes, even when Austin does miss it, it still puts him in a pretty good position afterwards. Still gets like the option of trying to put out the quick down smash or uh, shield something so that he can get the grab afterwards if you try to mm -hmm. rush on the stage with an attack. And safely does it as well. He detonates it uh, pretty, pretty early on into the character's recovery that mm -hmm. he's uh, trying to cover. Up smash, kept if Jason landing. sits under the tree, he will kill Austin. Yep, he's not gonna. Yeah, he's not gonna let that card just uh, sit on the table. Go to early side B by Jason. Yeah, I really yeah. like that. Free ride to uh -oh, stage. Austin. Uh, that back, back gonna do it. Go. Austin with the lead now. Now Austin, the one to. Mm, I don't know if you want to be up there, Austin. Yeah, <laughs> that's a bad place to be. Forget about the up B. Jason says no. <laughs> Uh, Trying to use the Rock Smash to break through, but it's going to hit through. It is a multi-hit move. Mm, activate on that rock. Mm, little free oh, damage Oh, this could tech. be big! Jason, no tech! Okay, looks like he is going to live, He's though. He's back! He's living. Charizard's recovery is pretty impressive, actually, Ooh, with that side it, beat. It is, yes. Yeah, yeah, if it didn't have, like, the wall on the side of the stage, then it that might be a little bit worse. Or if he burned his jumps. Or if he had burned his jumps, yeah. Austin, if you want to win, you got to get off that tree. Back air not going to kill it is on the opposite side of the stage. Up here. Mm, don't do it, Austin. <laughs> not like this. It's, yep. It's just how Austin is. You can't tell him what to do. Not on the tree. Not going to kill. But if Jason unstales that. Oh, my goodness. Austin just going straight for it. Oh, the, <laughs> the dog kind of helping Jason there. Or Austin there. Oh, ah. Both of these guys just need a throw. That's all they need. And Austin going to use the PK Thunder 2 to recover through. Again. Up air going to kill. It's going to set two. Man, pixels away from landing that up smash again for the second time. It's a finicky hitbox. It's a very finicky hitbox, especially mm -hmm. near the bottom. So set two. We're going to do the time warp again. Mm -hmm. Jason is going to stick with that Charizard. That was, that was a... Stomach twisting yes. game three. <laughs> Extremely close. So where to start? Town and city. We'll see if Jason goes for yeah. it. <laughs> it. The thing. That just, one combo. Just like that. <laughs> oh, he, um, okay. That is that is a setup to, to start it. But <laughs> yeah, Do, do you know if he uh, knows about the combo? I, I'd have to imagine he does. But if he doesn't... Somebody got to educate that <laughs> yeah, guy. Somebody got to send us some Giphy Cats. <laughs> Jason just taking advantage of his auto cancels to throw out many hitboxes that Austin doesn't have a disjoint to break through. Mm. Oh, trying to call the dash and grab with the dash attack. Mm -hmm. Austin taking his time, not wanting to really jump into those hitboxes. Jason drifting to the ledge, very smart to, uh, especially against a character like Ness, to sometimes just go to the ledge for a breather, especially if that Ness is Austin. Mm -hmm. All right, Austin's got him juggled. Wow, hitting him before the PK fire comes out. I'm gonna side me to the ledge. Footstool. Stool. No setup. No follow up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. So, sour spot downer. I does believe uh, set up oh, for yeah. uh, jab reset combo though. Covering with the Nair, very smart. Very non-committal, that Nair, due to its uh, great auto-cancel window. Yeah. Ooh. Wow, yep. fourth throw. Oh, wow, fell out of the jab combo. 
trying to land that back air, which actually, with this much rage, could have killed the center stage. Yeah, the back air does hit extraordinarily hard, but Austin still... Wow, going for a shield break, actually. He forward air to try to edge guard. Safe spacing. Yeah. Man, yeah, Austin is just walking him to the ledge every time Jason gets to center stage. And that's, and that's the thing about these heavy characters, is to do safe spacing, you have to back yourself up. And if you do it too many times, you will put yourself in a situation like that, or your opponent will get the first stock. Oh, okay. Austin. Okay. Almost getting the early kill with that weak down air. All right. So Jason is back, but probably going to reconsider uh, staying off stage for too long. Right. Point. Austin still landing his hits. Jason not really able to get anything going. Flare Blitz to recover. No, gets hit by the PK Thunder first. Does somewhat aid in his recovery, but takes yeah. a little bit more damage than Flare Blitz uh, would do to him. Uh, up yeah, air. Up air. Austin. Very clean gain from Austin. Clean, definitely the word to describe it. And all of a sudden, Jason, the one in the hot seat. One game away from elimination. High stakes. Yeah. As uh, one Jason would say. <laughs> Gonna stick with the Charizard. Going to Duck Hunt once again. The last oh. game on Duck Hunt was extremely close. I think Jason definitely feels he could have gotten it. He did He did get a little bit of uh, shenanigans with that up B. He did, and I yeah. think Austin knows a little better to challenge that now, but perhaps Jason's got a little bit of a, a change in plan, perhaps. Possibly. Down throw, gonna set up for, oh! Ooh. All right. Yep, yep, up B, gonna get him out of that. I'm actually a little bit surprised considering the style of play that Jason takes that he hasn't done up B more to uh, break through these up airs. Mm -hmm. Man. <laughs> Look at how powerful Seriously, that is. so strong. And then the, the reach. Like, that was completely through the bush and on the other side of it. It's almost as big as Mewtwo's back there, which is insane. I don't know, man. I think it's bigger than Austin, Mewtwo's back Austin, okay. Jason very smart to just DI into the PK Thunder and take his lumps without dying for it. Mm. Oh, the duck extending the hitbox? Extending the hitbox with the back air and Jason to take first stock in game two. Okay, awesome. Keep an eye on that duck. Keep an eye on that dog. Mm -hmm. Okay, never mind. Up air set up. Okay, Jason falling out of it. Yep, Jason's just going to go for the, the nice easy down throw combo. Doesn't get the follow up afterwards. Yeah, going to gonna take it safe because uh, Austin definitely had some tricky drift as his nest, but yeah, gonna catch the up B. This is last stock situation for Jason. Mm -hmm. He needs to take this stock. Rolling in with the, yeah, you can absorb it indeed. Okay. Doesn't seem like it heals too much. No, it's uh, but something, yeah. It's about, I think it's one or two percent per, per tick. Yeah, per tick of fire. Mm. And Jason doesn't nearly have that kind of mobility to drift away if he misses the up B. And Austin, mm. that's dangerous. <laughs> I thought Jason was going to go for the up beat. I really thought he was. Austin just walling out with the forward airs. Kind of doing the same thing that Jason's been doing with just the auto cancel forward air drift backwards. Yeah, now Jason's the one sitting in the tree waiting for Austin to come at K-I-S-S-I-N-G that up B hitbox. <laughs> the original witch twist. Mm. Oh, that could be a big edge guard, but Jason's so smart to recover high. No tech oh. on the stage, but still alive. Back Austin throw, back throw won't kill. Yet. Charizard chunky. Double PK fire. Perhaps Austin getting a little bit of a uh, freezing up there on how to punish. Jason oh. up throw is gonna no. not kill. I'm and we said that at the beginning of the grand finals to look out for that, and Austin will take it 2-0 in the reset. I'm very surprised that up throw did not kill. That was some wondrous godly DI from Austin to not die to that. Yeah, 140 rage, 70%. Highest hitbox of the tree. But good stuff from Austin slaying the dragon finally. Congratulations to Austin, yeah.